hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is of course mink's kinks and hey, y'all <laughs> as you guys remember the title we're getting into some of the eden body works original coconut line yes ma'am so we're getting into this because y'all i have uh, maybe a, a fourth of the bottle left of the leave-in conditioner and it's got to go uh-huh it's got to go so i had this leave-in um it might be my second bottle i think my sister gave me this one but i was never really a fan of it so i'm gonna give it a shot again because urban fab curls here on youtube one of my curl friends uh-huh she loves this leave-in and she actually likes it more than the lavender and aloe leave-in that eden body works recently came out with and for me i like the lavender and aloe better so i figured i need to go back and try this and she talks about this leave-in so much that it just makes me want to pull it out my stash and see <laughs> what the problem is this is the leave-in and as you guys can see, I don't have a whole lot left, but it's a more runny leave-in, so it ran up a little bit as I um, tilted the bottle. And then I also have the Eden Body Works, oh, it's the Coconut Shea line. The Coconut and Shea Curl Defining Cream, and this one is 16 ounces. And this is my second bottle of this. Yes, ma'am. I used to use this often during my during my beginner natural days. It used to work out really well for me. And it was always very inexpensive as well. And then Eden Body Works is a black owned brand. So we love to see it. I don't know what it is about Eden Body Works that isn't capturing my attention. But Eden Body Works just, there's products that I do like from the brand. But it just doesn't do it for me. Like I'm not going to Target specifically to look and see if Eden Body Works has something new. That makes sense it seems like for me it feels like a very beginner natural brand where you're just trying to learn your hair but there i don't have any like staple products love the lavender and aloe co-wash really really like that i like the um peppermint shampoo that's also really good um but there's nothing from eden that i feel like i have to have in my stash so y'all let me go ahead i'm gonna section my hair and we'll keep chit chatting about eden body works all right you guys so i went ahead section my hair and applied my scalp oil to this section of my hair but i wanted to come through and show you guys what my hair is looking like it feels super soft and very pillowy for some reason um so let me tell you about my wash day i use the casey by care care shampoo um and then i went ahead in with the curls and potions protein mask i did a review on that fairly recently um so i'll link that up above as well and then i went in with my last conditioner call conditioner and it's just like one of the random drugstore conditioners also have a video on that i'll link that up above too but i'm just shaking up my last little bit of eden body works i'm really hoping to finish this okay so let's go ahead, read the directions, see what it wants us to do, all of that. It says it is supposed to refresh and renew. It's paraben and sulfate free. It says coconut shea leave-in conditioner is a daily conditioning treatment formulated with one of nature's best moisturizers, coconut oil, to penetrate and revitalize tresses. Blend it with shea butter to seal in moisture. The sulfate free formula is safe for color treated, chemically treated, curly or straight hair. Um, the directions say apply to freshly shampooed hair for best results. Do not rinse. Use daily as needed. And then some of the top ingredients are water, aloe vera juice, coconut oil, jojoba seed oil, and then safflower oil. So that's some of the things I saw. Um, I don't know, y'all. This leave-in conditioner just does not do it for me. I don't know why. It just feels like there's never enough moisture to me. So as you guys saw, I used my um, spray bottle. It has warm water in it. And I'm going to let this leave-in conditioner sit because I know I'm not really a fan. So I'm going to give it as much as a chance as humanly possible. And um, here's what the consistency looks like. It's a looser type of conditioner. So I'm going to just get a little bit more. Um... And y'all, today's going to be interesting because I'm using double creams. And I typically don't. Y'all know I'm a gel styler type of girl. But we're going to see what this is talking about. Um, I have both of these products in my stash. And these are the only products I have from that same collection. Other than the co-wash, I bought the co-wash as well. Because Natural Ray Ray really likes that co-wash. And I 
listen i felt left out it was five dollars for the little cinco de mayo sale cinco de, yeah cinco de mayo sale so i was like let me just go ahead and pick it up still haven't used it all right you guys so i put the leave-in conditioner on the first section and that's what it looks like and my hair does feel good um i don't know y'all i feel like it's towards the end of the week my hair just feels very just like you know what i'm saying like ugh not it's not a terrible leave-in conditioner it's just that i've had better and i find that that's my thing with eden body works in general is that they do have good products it's just i've had better so they're great if you're like on a budget if you're a student or you know just balling on a budget you know what i'm saying um it's good for that like it's not like they're bad products i just feel like they're just, they're just not my favorite, you know what I'm saying? So let me know how you feel about Eden Body Works down below. Because I know there's a lot of people who feel the same way I do. I feel like it's kind of like, you know, kind of mixed. Um, I don't know. They make pretty light holding stylers as well. I have quite a few, quite a few of their stylers. So I have the whole new Lavender and Aloe collection. That one has a styling gel. That didn't have a whole lot of hold for me at all um i have this styler this styler um i remember having pretty decent hold even on the bottle it says it's a medium hold they have a styling foam and a citrus collection as well as a butter neither of them have a hold for me at all <laughs> at all um they have whatever that pink collection is actually my eat body works is right back here whatever that pink collection is they have like a styling custard haven't tried that and then from the papaya and castor oil there's a foam leave-in which i absolutely hated i did a review on that one actually and then they had a like cream gel situation which i didn't hate that it just doesn't really have a whole lot of hold so i don't know y'all know i'm a whole type of person i know they have a couple different lines but none of them have really just like stood out and really any of them really wowed me but i keep buying stuff from the brand because i want to support them i want to like them they're in target they're accessible you can probably get them in cbs like you could get them everywhere so i want to support them but they just don't seem to my them and my hair just don't seem to agree but so far this leave-in conditioner is doing okay i just feel like i have to use a lot of it which i'm not mad at because i'm trying to get rid of this leave-in conditioner anyway but y'all can see the shine it seems to be adding it is working out pretty good so yeah y'all i'm talking too much <laughs> per usual um so i'm just going to finish applying a leave-in conditioner across my head and then um, i'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and then i'll come back and we'll do a braid out with the curl defining cream and see what the results are. okay you guys so i'm back and let the leave-in sit for maybe about 10 15 minutes and this is what my hair looks like in this back quadrant i split the section in two of course when i applied my leave-in y'all know that's typically how i apply my leave-in and that's just what my hair is looking like just you know coming out so i decided that today i want to do a twist out y'all know i'm a braid out girl I don't know what is persuading me to do a twist out but that's what we're gonna do today so um as far as my hair feels my hair feels pretty good um it kind of feels the same way as when i was applying a leave-in so i feel like it's right in the middle of it did something by letting it sit and also like i probably could have went on and got the same result um and my hair also feels a little not sticky but just like kind of coated um yeah i don't know but the shine's good like the definitions there i don't know it's just not my favorite leave-in it just doesn't like wow me honestly and i don't know i don't know why but that's just what it is for me so out of this section i'm not doing any specific parts i'm just kind of pulling pieces um so i'm going ahead and with this piece hair and we're just going to start applying the curling cream so this is the eden body works coconut shea natural curl defining cream again it says that it defines curls and it has a medium hold and from what i remember it did have a good little hold so hopefully it still you know does that and can hold up in the pittsburgh rain okay so it says that the coconut shea natural curl defining cream is a humidity resistant formulation okay 
designed to refine and separate curls and waves this product infuses moisture to strengthen hair to strengthen hair provides frizz control and optimizes style definition directions apply to damp or dry hair finger comb product through the hair until the desired level curl definition is reached diffuse or air dry so um i'm gonna do it on damp hair my hair is kind of dried out now it's not dried out it's just not i don't I, it needs water for me is what i'm saying so first couple ingredients it does have a pretty lengthy ingredient list i will say it's water coconut oil vegetable oil aloe vera leaf juice satirical alcohol a little further down there's avocado oil shea butter coconut milk jojoba seed oil meadow foam stuff Mm -hmm. and y'all I am going to head in and I'm going to detangle today I don't know why I feel the need to detangle but I think it's because I'm using double creams and I just want to make sure that my hair is able to really just soak up and define in the way that I want it to so one thing I will say about this leave-in I didn't finish the leave-in y'all um, one, thing I will, one thing I will say about it is that it doesn't have the best slip and it sort of started to foam up on me, um, which again isn't a problem for me, um, just something to notice. And it is um, able to go through with a brush, it's just not, there's some resistance there. So I'm going to spray it down with a little bit more water, make sure to get my ends pretty good um because i want since this is going to be a twist out i want to make sure that my ends are super popping and then y'all hopefully y'all can see this this is what the product looks like so it's a cream it's very smooth um i don't know how much to go in with for a single twist i'm gonna start off with about this much for my twist i feel like that'll be enough it may be too much i don't know i'd rather have too much than too little though so it just feels like a cream going on to my hair but you can definitely feel the moisture going into your hair and this will be interesting because y'all know that i am a gel girl so i don't do creams you know paired together too often so i'm excited to see how this turns out but this is what the curls are looking like just right now So, yeah, y'all, I'm just going to go ahead and twist up my hair. It's a pretty self-explanatory one for today. Um, but, yeah, it's just going to be a simple twist out. I don't know how to three-strand twist. I'm probably the last natural left who doesn't know how to. But it's just going to be a two-strand twist today. Um, hopefully, they dry pretty quick and easily. But I'm just going to keep following the same process. There's not really much to say about the cream so far. It just feels like a cream. You can definitely feel the moisture. But you know <laughs> so yeah y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and que keep twisting up my hair that's what the first one looks like and i'll see you guys when i take out my hair and we'll talk about how everything works hey you guys i'm back and um i'm sure you can tell by my energy um mm -mm, i don't like it i'm not feeling it it's it's a it's giving no uh-huh so let me let me show you guys what i came up with now granted this looks okay mm -hmm. but y'all it took me so much work to get here <laughs> so much work um this is the other side all together let me tell y'all something i've been trying to figure out how i was going to get this style to work because i have to go to work i don't have time to be playing around and do a different style or nothing so i'm just gonna have to make this work um i tried my best i'm not a fan it will be doing something else tomorrow i i don't like it what i will say my hair is um moisturized my hair is pretty shiny i don't know if that's from the products or from the shine oil i used to take my twist down i don't know but y'all i don't like my hair and i think a lot of that is because it's a twist out y'all know i'm not really a fan of twist outs i wanted to experiment um it's not the length per se because i'm not mad at the length of my hair but there's no hold so the definition is is there but there's also a healthy mix of frizz um y'all can't really see it because of the bookshelf but 
it's just not giving for it to be a monday morning and this is what came up out of my bonnet is just rude like it seemed to work better a lot better on my looser textures but um my looser texture is just like that top covering so everything in the middle i can feel the frizz just sitting inside um but y'all get it i don't like my hair i will try these products again with a braid out i'm not gonna re-record it or anything and if i still don't like it i'm giving this stuff to my sister because Mm -mm. so here's the leave-in it applied a lot better i didn't finish it i'm about right here so maybe a use maybe half a use i don't know um it was okay when i repurchase it the answer still no it worked definitely better this time I, it shouldn't take me a whole bottle to learn how to use a leave-in conditioner um so the answer is no for this and then next is this curl defining cream and it applied well it was okay i actually want to try this as a leave-in because it was very moisturizing um i wouldn't say it defined my curls not my curls um when i twisted my hair up and manipulated my hair my hair was defined it claims to have a medium hold that's a lie there's no hold in my hair and y'all know how i feel about hold but there's absolutely zero hold i had a little the slightest bit of a cash yesterday um with my twist but as i was out running around that disappeared i did only have to use a super little bit and just took off of the cap what was you know on the cap so there's still a whole jar of this so like i said i will try this combination together as a braid out and then i'll try this as a leave-in and then this will probably go to my sister because this um i don't like my hair i'm annoyed that i have to go to work with you know hair that i don't like that's always you know a feeling that i'm not a fan of but yeah y'all that's what that's what this turned out to be so this was a fail a fail fail i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair for the rest of the week at all but um this this isn't it like what like the shape isn't shaping like what is this one random long curl right here like it's just it's it's a no it's a no straight like that so yeah y'all that's the end of this video um let me know if you like these products down below how you use them all of that good stuff um and pray for me for the rest of the week because i gotta you know make something shake i tried to do some edges over here to try and finesse but yeah y'all let me go to work i will see you guys in my next video